Fellow tennis nerds, I hope all is well. I'm here with Andre. You've seen him before on the channel where we hit some balls, very good player. Uh, we did test a lot of bubble ups today, not sponsored by bubble ups. So if you want to send him some rackets and stuff, you know, hook him up. <laughs> um, so we have two pure drives, one longer and one standard edition. Thanks to longbodies.com, pure drive 98. Then we tried the Rafa, the pure Aero Rafa Origin, the heavy one, 317 gram unstrung and the standard 290 gram unstrung. Uh, Andre also uses the Pure Aero VS and the 98, he compared that, he hasn't tried that before. So we had a lot of comparisons today. And uh, let's start with the, the Pure Drives actually. So you, what did you think of the Pure Drive? What was your first impression? So I started hitting with the long body and for me the long body was, uh, it was good to hit with. Very good uh, compact feeling and it didn't feel as heavy in the head as I thought. And I didn't play with long body before, so it was a nice uh, try. Uh, but to surf with, I had a struggle with surfing uh, with the racket. It, it was difficult to get the racket down fast enough. So, but for sure in the hitting and for sure you can get used to surfing with it. But for hitting, it was very nice. And uh, the other one, the normal one with no long body, you surf unbelievable with the racket. And uh, actually it filled what a bit heavier in the swing yep uh, weirdly and it was it was a bit weird but uh, and also a little bit stiffer actually but i mean still a very good racket and for sure a very good serving racket yeah no you play well with this and yeah. it would be hard to say ground strokes you play better maybe with the longer one serves yeah. better with the standard one but well, they're similar but you like both a lot yeah. so they are good competitors to yeah. the pure aero vs yeah. Very similar to my uh, VS. Yeah. So you tried the new one a bit. Okay, you haven't spe specced it up to your exactly your, your customized no. specs. Uh, but you felt like this was a bit different. You were yeah. like your favorite. Yeah, so this one for me, it was a little bit like I had an empty feeling when I was hitting with it. Uh, it didn't have like... Uh, that solid feeling. Yeah, it doesn't satisfy me every time I hit the ball compared with the, the old VS. Uh, this one, it has like, it's like, it's massive inside. And this one is like uh, empty inside. So when I hit with this, I get much more pleasure and I get a better stroke, I feel, uh, compared with this. Yep. No, I agree. And I, I, it was noticeable, actually. Yeah. I feel like this is softer though, but it might not be to everyone's cup of tea because this one you feel the ball a bit better yeah. with. This is more muted. Yeah. Uh, okay, so those were the 98s. Uh, very good 98 rackets, all of them, uh, for modern players like Andre, who hits with a little spin. And now to the interesting one. We tried the lighter version and the heavier version. Let's try start with the heavier origin, Rafa so, spec. So this one was a very uh, fun thing to try, uh, to play with the specs of Rafa. Um, I, I was expecting it to be very difficult to play with and a pain in the arm to say it. Uh, but I mean, for me, it felt very good. And uh, with this racket, the racket plays for you more or less. So when you swing it, you don't have to use, use so much power from your arm. So you just let the racket go. And I don't know why, but it was like, it always turned out to go down and go inside of the court. Yeah, massive spin. Yeah. That one, yeah. And, uh, and then for me, it was, it was good, but with serving with this, it's very tough. Yeah, uh, the ball wants to go down. The yeah. ball wants to dip with all the weight in the head, right? The ragged wants to go down too quick. And uh, for the slice, it's good. Kick serve is difficult, flat, you can work with it. Yeah. But you have to be very strong to make a good kick serve with this. Yeah, no, I really liked it too. I mean, it's, it's a really fun racket to use on ground strokes. But like, obviously, once you start getting a bit tired and you're not facing the ball as well, it's all about timing the ball. So if you time the ball well, you're going to have hit rockets with that one but as soon as you lose a bit of timing the ball wants to go a bit to the sky and uh, and it is tough to maneuver it on, on like quick shots uh, the lighter pure air rafa personally i felt it's a bit too light it's tough it feels like a table tennis yeah. racket as you said a little bit too light especially when you play with the origin so I would weight this up a bit. I prefer the newer Pure Aero 100 square inch version. Uh, I think that is a, a better racket for me after playing with this for a while. Uh, your thoughts? I have the same uh, idea about it, uh, but for, easier to surf with than Rafa's. Yeah, you surf good kicks with this one. Yeah. Kick with uh, a lot of spin. It has a lot of spin potential, but you need to really hit with a lot of spin as well. Yeah. Otherwise you don't utilize the racket to a full potential. I think the potential of this is good if you have, if you add some weight to the head yeah because then you get this more closing down face from the ragged because this one it just if you don't fast enough yourself it just disappears yeah 
So some thoughts about new bubble art rackets. Uh, check them out, Tennis Warehouse, if you if you want to check them out and help the channel. Uh, also, Andre has his TikTok. We'll put it in the below. So check him out. Follow his progress as he's playing more and more tennis. Thank you. Bye. Yeah. To summarize a bit before we end the video, I wanted to say that Andre liked the Pure Drive 98 the most of all the rackets felt close to home for him with this Pure Aero VS that he plays now and you will see some bomb serves hit at the end of the video uh, I really enjoyed the Pure Aero Rafa Origin to my surprise I must say it's not a racket I will use in matches because it's too heavy but it's a fun racket to hit with from time to time and uh, remind yourself of that you're not Rafa so that was that was fun part of that and uh, overall uh, some solid bubble art sticks, they remain with high stiffness. I would say the bubble art Rafas did not feel stiff, even with RPM blasts strung at 25 or 26 kilos. But the Pure Drive 98 seems to have bothered some elbows looking in the comments field. Uh, weirdly, the ring and roll extended uh, Pure Drive 98 was much softer in feel. So exactly not sure what's going on there. Uh, maybe extending a frame makes it a little bit less uh, stiff but it felt better generally on, on the arm, I would say. But the Pure Drive 98 is a favorite among many players. So, um, But more to come about these rackets, reviews to come as well. So please make sure to subscribe. That's it. Have a nice day and don't forget to play some tennis.